Okay, so basically for today's video, I'd actually like to focus on stuff that isn't to do with your knowledge of English in the exam, but the other sort of soft skill stuff that will basically just help get you in the right frame of mind and approach the exam in the correct way. Okay, I do have plenty of other videos on how to prepare for the exam in terms of what you need to do, how to answer the questions, etc. So please do check those out. But for now, we're just looking at before the exam, during the exam, and after the exam in terms of how to approach it in a general way. Uh, the first couple of slides are fairly general for the any exam, and then we go into more specific details about the functional skills of English exam. Right, so first off, before the exam, do get a decent night's sleep. That is important, okay? Um, another thing you should not be doing, you should not be staying up late to revise the night before. If it's not gone in, um, it's, if it's not gone in at like, I don't know, 11 p.m. Uh, the day before the exam, it's not going to go in. The way your mind works, right, you, you, you remember stuff in your short-term memory, it moves to your long-term memory. There's not enough time for you to encode anything else in your long-term memory, so don't worry about it. Eat a decent breakfast on the uh, morning before, you know, some plenty of energy, you know, carbohydrates, etc., etc., so you carry on that energy throughout the day. And again, do drink plenty of water. Um, do also make sure you know the route to the centre. You know, whether you're getting the train, whether you're getting a lift, whatever. Uh, do make sure that's all planned out. Things can go smoothly. And again, it's a decent idea to have a contact number for the centre, just in case the worst happens and you need to call them up. I don't know, maybe there's an accident or something, or the trains are delayed. Just so you can call them up and let them know. It will take a load off. Um, all of these tips here, really, are to reduce stress on you on the day okay don't also when you are getting ready to go for the exam because usually you'll be arriving a little bit before the exam starts don't try and revise just before you go into the exam it's not going to work okay it's really not going to work it's not going to work if you're revising the night before it's definitely not going to work if you're trying to revise just before you go into the exam you cannot cram anything else in at that point um, also, I wouldn't spend too long discussing the exam or what might come up because the trouble is you're going to be sat there with other people who are also anxious and also nervous about the exam because it's perfectly okay to be nervous and anxious about the exam. You do not want to be winding each other up before you go into the exam. And similarly, don't bother the second exam afterwards. Don't sort of get into conversations. Oh, what did you put this question? How did you approach this question? Two reasons for this. Firstly, you are not talking to an examiner, you're talking to another student who's at the exam, so if they do think differently, you are going to panic each other about it, because one of you might be, you know, if you're thinking differently on something, odds are one of you's right, maybe neither of you are right, but somebody could be wrong here, okay? And that is going to worry both of you. Uh, also, you don't have a time machine. It's not like you can go back in time and do exactly the same exam again. So there's no point in dissecting it afterwards. This is especially important if you've got a second exam coming up after a little break, because you don't want to you know, scare yourself, distract yourself, and you don't want to be finishing thinking about that first exam while you're doing your second one. So once you actually get to the exam, you go in and it's started. Firstly, do stay calm and focused. A uh, good technique here is uh, to do with mindfulness. And essentially what that's about is it's about just sort of putting yourself in the here and now. It's not about thinking about what might happen. It's not about worrying what could happen. It's just about what's in front of you. So there's some deep breathing exercises you can do. Uh, it might be an idea, actually, when you open the paper, not even to start writing or reading. Just take a few deep breaths, focus yourself, make sure you're there, and then start. You should also be in a position where you can see the clock and the start and end times. This is important because part of an exam is time management. If you can't easily see the clock and the end and start times, you can ask to be moved to a place where you can see these. Uh, it's a good idea to take a clear bottle of water in with you uh, to stay hydrated. And do only bring in what you're allowed for your specific exam. Okay? Um, it's not worth the hassle. Um, if you basically, if you accidentally forget and I don't know, you leave your smartwatch on, that could disqualify you from the whole exam. It could also potentially disqualify anyone else who's sitting the exam with you from it. So please don't be that person. Only bring in with you what you're allowed. So let's have a quick look then. Let's move on to think about specific exams and we'll start with the writing paper. So specific techniques for managing stress, managing 
how you deal with and how you cope with the writing paper. So, I mean, if we have a look at this task here. Now, the first thing you're going to be doing in the writing paper is planning. You're going to be developing your ideas. Do take time to do that. You should be spending a good few minutes at least just getting down the plan. And one thing that can help here is, as I said, mindfulness. It's about focusing on the here and now and the immediate. So at the point where you're planning, you're not writing, you're planning. You don't need to worry about writing yet. So all you're doing with your planning is you're looking at these bullet points, or if you're doing a level 2 paper, you're reading through and drawing out what you need to be talking about. And you're just writing down, jotting down how you're dancing that. So, you know, why are you writing? Well, why am I writing? I'll just make notes about that. Don't think about these now. Don't think about what you're going to be doing after you've finished planning. Just focus on the planning. Focus on the task that is immediately in front of you. Okay? Also, if you do get stuck, it is okay to take a break. You know, it's okay to take a minute or two just to centre yourself, just to sort of focus yourself, and then carry on. Okay? It really is. So, I mean, general tips, yeah, do take time and practice to be mindful, as I said at the start. You know, do you just sort of focus on what's immediately in front of you. Focus on that and doing that. Uh, you can take a bit of a break if you need it. So, say, for instance, I'm having a go at uh, the writing paper. I've got two tasks in front of me. I am stuck planning the first one. Well, what I could do is I could start planning the second one. And hopefully, by the time I finish planning the second one, uh, my subconscious has been working away and I've got some ideas for the first one as well. Planning and proofreading is also important. You know, do save time for that. As I said, time management is a big part of the exam. Really. So, moving on to the reading paper. Again, if you get stuck on the question on the reading paper, do move on. You know, it is, if you are sat there, sort of staring at a blank piece of paper for five minutes, trying to will your brain to answer it, odds are you are going to get more confused, more lost, and more stressed. Move on. Now, the reason why this technique works, like moving on when you're stuck on the question, moving on to the next one, the reason why it works is because your subconscious brain that you're not even aware of is still thinking about that question you're stuck on. And your subconscious brain is pretty good at figuring stuff out. So by the time you have finished the next couple of questions after that, there's a pretty good chance that going back to the question you're stuck on, you've got some ideas now. Also, do read the questions carefully. You know, with the reading paper, it's really important to do that. And don't forget, you can make notes on the source documents you can underline stuff, which can be helpful when it comes to answering the exam, sort of answering the questions, really. I mean, for instance, if you're working at level two, you know, you're probably going to have some stuff to do with buyers and stuff like that. So if you know that, I don't know, question eight asks you the three buyers' statements in the third paragraph down on document one, while you're reading through that document, underline any buyer statements you see. It will save you a job in the long term. So there we go. There's some good tips there for just preparing yourself mentally for the exam and getting ready for it. And the key, really, is doing what you can to make sure you're not too stressed. So before the exam, that's making sure that you are well rested, that you've eaten, that you're hydrated, that there's not going to be any stress in terms of getting in because you already know your route. Um, it's going to be things like you know, not necessarily trying to cram in last minute revision because that doesn't work anyway. Uh, when you actually get into the exam, it's making sure that you know, you're comfortable, that you can see the clock, you can manage the time and everything. Uh, when you actually do the exam itself, it's just about being aware of what's in front of you, working on what's in front of you, and remembering if you're getting stuck, you can move on and come back to it. Okay, so there we go.